Now, a new headache for the Indian Space Research Organization, which is closely monitoring a large asteroid named Apophis that will come very close to Earth in 2029. The asteroid, uh, which is named after the Egyptian god of chaos, is hurtling towards us and will have closest encounter with Earth on April 13th, 2029. Now, ISRO and several other space agencies are monitoring it closely. A new planetary defense control room and modern facility has been set up in Bengal to track this and other objects and ETV science editor Pallav Bagla was given rare access to this facility. He also spoke to its head, Dr. A.K. Anil Kumar. Here are the details. Asteroids pose a specific problem for Earth when they come close to the Earth's orbit. I have with me Dr. A.K. Anil Kumar who monitors space objects and does planetary defense for India. There is an object which is coming close to Earth. Uh, Dr. Anil Kumar, tell me about this object which is coming close to Earth. Yeah, the, the asteroid named Apophis, which was found a few years later, and uh, it is coming close to Earth by 2029, April. Uh, it will be coming close to Earth, about 30,000 kilometers close to Earth. They're closing the geo belt. And uh, it is expected that uh, because of its uh, periodicity, it will come back to Earth by 2036. And earlier, there were some concern about uh, the Apophis impacting on the Earth. Then a lot of studies are taken place. One of the area called uh, planetary defense, which is to find out the ways and means how to uh, deflect the asteroids without hitting on the Earth to safeguard the planet. The Apophis, when it comes to 2029, the space, space agencies, especially national space agencies, they are trying to observe very more closely to this. Uh, like there are some missions are planned uh, by 2028 missions are planned so that 2029 it can go very close to it and image it which will help us to find out the trajectory of the asteroid uh, and also to find out the composition material composition how it is look like and which will give uh, uh, the clue for the evolution of the our ecosystems so this apophis mission uh, planned by esa and joined by NASA, JAX, etc. Uh, like our early chairman recently declared that we will also trying to join with this international uh, effort on uh, imaging the asteroid and finding out the trajectory of the asteroid regarding the apophis to avoid uh, a planetary impact and uh, destruction. So this is the mission. As you know that uh, there, there earlier there were many instances in which uh, asteroid has impacted on Earth also. We have in India itself uh, uh, Lonar Lake Lonar is, there. is there. Yeah, it's Lonar there. Lake crater is there, it. which is our, supposed to be from an asteroid hit. And also in 1908 in Russia, Tunguska, there was a de devastation was there. Now these asteroids, the asteroids are getting uh, observed and they are getting identified by campaign by NASA, ESA, so there is a pri primary planter center is there. They are doing it, asteroid observations. And it is termed as yeah, an asteroid of size more than 140 meter, it will be catastrophic if it hits on Earth. So they are called potentially hazardous asteroids, PHS. Now the apophis which is going to come is about 340 meter size. If it impact on the ground, it will have a lot of, uh, it will locally, it will eradicate all the things, it will destroy everything. But the dust which is emanating from that impact, it will surround the globe. Ultimately, it will end up with the sustainability of the Earth will be in question. That is what happening. But can we deflect these asteroids? Yeah. There are many techniques are uh, planned. We can um, see the, the, there are many techniques like uh, deflecting. Recently, last year, I mean, NASA has done one DART mission, which is impacting on an uh, asteroid and making sure that there is small uh, delta V change, velocity change is there in that uh, asteroid. So there are uh, many tests uh, are going on, and uh, we can deflect it using a gravity tractor is there. That is, we will put a, another object near to it so that because of the gravity repulsion or attraction, it will small, small change in the delta V. Velocity will be there, which will deflect from hitting the Earth. So is ISRO also monitoring this Apophis asteroid using your facilities and joining the global uh, search? Yeah, ISRO has started, initiated many activities regarding planetary defense and uh, observing the asteroids also using our observatories, academic observatories, what are available which are used for astronomy. But further, we are planning to have our own optical telescopes, which can detect the asteroids and monitor this. So that was Dr. Anil Kumar telling us that the 
asteroid Apophis, which will approach the Earth very close in 2029, is being monitored not just by global agencies, but by the Indian Space Research Organization. ISRO contributing to planetary defense for Earth. At ISRO's facility, where such large objects are tracked with camera person Kumar in Bangaluru, Pallava, Bagla for NDTV.